I don't need to know you. You only need to know me. I will be the one. Mankind now has the technology to travel between an infinite number of universes through spontaneous but predictable wormholes. Some of these other Earths contain variants of ourselves and are policed by a team called the Multiverse Authority. Inside the Anubis universe, the LA Sheriff's Department is currently in the process of transferring the infamous Lawless. Sergeant Siegel leads the violent criminal when another attempts to kill him showcasing Lawless's incredible strength. The moment the team reached the garage, an unseen attacker head shots Lawless straight through his visor killing him instantly. Armed with M26 mass attachment prototypes that were unreleased when the film was made, a pair of advancing agents are taken out before the shooter reveals himself to be a variant of Lawless. He displays exceptional speed strength and a disregard for physics, all derived from hunting down and killing a number of his variants. After defeating the garage of officers in real-time seconds, Yulaw flees the scene and is chased through the city at a casual 50 miles per hour. His ability to leap great distances as well as great heights, allows him to evade the local police but two agents of the Multiverse Authority have tracked him down and continue the chase. MVA Agent Evans has only been on the job for two years and is told by his partner Harry to bring Yulaw in alive, then empties his entire clip at him the moment he's able. He locates the criminal waiting on a wormhole to another universe and jams his signal. Even with the new guy having the drop on Yulaw, Harry decides to hit him with a car just to be sure and the two begin their trip back home. Accessed by a simple wrist watch, a wormhole opens up above them and the three are torn down to their molecular level and reassembled in the Alpha Universe. Laying in the middle of the MVA headquarters, the two agents are left to recover while Yulaw is put on trial for his crimes. In his travels Yulaw has killed 123 variants of himself including Dreadlocks and Blondie, and in doing so has absorbed the life force and the combined power of 124 Jet Lees. Yulaw spends his incarceration training as Xing Yi when visited by Harry. The TVA agent talks about missing his friend, as up until only two years ago the two were partners. Passed with bringing in a variant of himself, Yulaw shot his variant in self-defense absorbed his power and has been addicted to it ever since. What looks like a Jessica Rabbit variant named Macy attends Yulaw's sentencing, where he'll be sent to a penal colony in the Hades universe. The warden reads him his rights while Yulaw uses the defense that you can't kill yourself 123 times. He believes our purpose in this multiverse is to combine all our energy until we become our own supreme being. Using a rat with a receiver sticking out of its ass Macy activates an explosive destroying the containment room along with her lover's restraints. He disarms a guard and clears the room of any threats, before changing the machine's coordinates and escaping the MVA leaving Macy behind. In a recreation of the Anubis universe's introduction, the Karis universe sheriff's department is gearing up in the same way but with less advanced weaponry. This time though the criminal being transferred is Rotten Ronnie, as the variant is shown to be a deputy sheriff named Gabe and has his hands free to catch the inmate's knife. This time walking through the garage he begins to have a funny feeling, leading him to avoid his doppelganger's gunfire when he tries to ambush them. He uses a prison transport to destroy the air vent he's hiding and then comes face to face with himself. Hey. Before Yulon can kill Gabe backup arrives and he is forced to flee. Gabe gives chase and sees his variant leap a massive wall so he attempts himself and just manages to make it, but is greeted on the other side with a bullet to the chest. The MVA gets there just in the nick of time to chase Yulaw away as he leaps over a hedge wall and Gabe passes out. Married to the same woman in the Karis universe, Gabe's wife TK rushes to the hospital but is met at the door by her husband, who is wearing his vest and is perfectly fine. Gabe's the final variant left known to exist and spends his night training his 8 trigrams palm technique, while Yulaw spends it training the mind form fist style atop the hospital used in the television show Scrubs. Inside the North Hollywood Medical Center Gabe's returned with his wife to check on his injured teammate John Woo. D'Antoni says he didn't even make it out of the parking lot tonight while Bobby is a variant of Lawless's archenemy from the Anubis universe. Officer Yates asks for a description of the assailant but Gabe tells him it was too dark not wanting to come across as crazy, then confides in TK that his attacker was identical to him in every way. He's taken to get a brain scan not sure if he's just hallucinating or not, and gives TK his wedding ring to hold. While inside the MRI scanner, Yulaw enters and is about to kill the technician but is met by Harry and Evan. He shoots first as the MVA fires back but have all their bullets dodged or deflected. Gabe frees himself from the machine and assists the agents, with a few kicks and the activation of the gigantic magnet removing the criminal's gun from his hands. But when Harry attempts to arrest his old pal he destroys the scanner with an elbow and escapes in a cloud of smoke while killing an officer on the way. The local police see Yulaw on the cameras and assume it's Gabe gone mad, but when trying to arrest the real Gabe he overpowers and handcuffs the entire team except for Yates who instead has his shotgun bent before being pushed into an elevator. Harry sees this and realizes that Gabriel shares in Yulaw's power, 
and will therefore double in strength should they kill the penultimate Jet Li. To uphold MVA protocol despite Evan claiming that it's shite, the two are now tasked with bringing in both variants to maintain the balance. They split up with Evan going after Gabe who escapes in an ambulance, and Harry taking Yula who escapes in a body bag. Harry easily outwits his former partner predicting his escape through the morgue, while Evan is caught onto by Gabe and forced to explain who he is. He tells Gabe about the multiverse and the agent's ability to predict black holes to use as bridges between them. Harry warns his old friend that some people believe you explode when all variants are inside you, but Yulaw is in the camp of people who believe you ascend into a god. He suddenly swerves into construction equipment totaling the van, and the two jump out and begin to fight. As much a battle as Harry makes it out to be it's not a back and forth, and instead Yulaw walks all over him leaving him beaten and broken in the middle of the street. A bloodied Harry pulls out an explosive intending to blow them both sky high, but is beaten to the button and has his neck broken. Knowing that his partner's dead, Evan's about to kill Gabe to maintain the balance but decides to help him instead. Three local police arrive at the crash and try to arrest Yula, but in seconds he knocks two off their bikes and kicks them across the street, then using a bike he swats them away like flies. The final officer he slips the bullets of, then claps between two bikes before stealing his vehicle. He goes to Gabe's home where TK believes him to be her husband and makes officers wait outside. When he asks her to grab a pistol she sees another potential husband and runs Exhibit A through a test. Not knowing where they spent their first date TK knows he isn't Gabe, but gets her gun snatched as an entering Bobby is shot dead. Not able to get inside in time, Gabe watches on helplessly as Yulaw kills his wife and escapes police capture by leaping out of the window and then mistaking Gabe for the killer. A few minutes later Evan locates Gabe overcome with anger and they pull into a service station. Evan produces his M590 with all the bells and whistles including an explosive warhead inside every bullet with Yulaw's name on it, when Gabe shows that he plans to just kick him in the head. Just then the attendant comes out showing to be one of Harry's counterparts, so Evan uses this chance to tell his dead partner what he couldn't before, that he's thankful for his teachings which just confuses the heck out of Ari. After telling Gabe the third belief that combining all of one's energies may destroy the entire universe, Evan takes him to a nearby factory with the plan of sending Yulaw through its wormhole that opens in 10 minutes. In a trap Yulaw uses the reactivated explosive to destroy a room they're standing in, and melts the metal in a way that divides the two heroes. Evan is the first to face his partner's killer where he is his ankle broken but escapes. Yulaw runs him down and after putting a beating on him again is about to kill Evan, when Gabe shows up for the final showdown. The villain rips his shirt off to differentiate the two and they go at it, with all the displays of martial arts prowess you'd expect from a Jet Li vs Jet Li fight, despite the less dominant in each scene being one of a number of stunt doubles just with their faces painted green. Gabe is easily outstruck in nearly every collision they have as he descends to the factory floor taking a beating on his way down. When Yula lands what should be a bone-shattering double punch, he believes he's ascended but Gabe's not dead. Still needing vengeance for his wife Gabe rises back up and focuses less on fighting angry and more on the martial arts. Using his Bagua Zhang and some physics-defying maneuvers, Gabe begins to get the upper hand. Due to collateral damage and cinematic necessity the factory begins to blow up around them, as they fight in real speed with slow motion surrounding. They soon go slow motion themselves for some serious facials when Gabe lands this kick, sending Yula flying. This entire time Evan's been hiding away and shouts out 30 seconds until wormhole, when Yulaw retrieves an axe but is instantly disarmed and finally defeated. Gabe drags himself over to the checkpoint, when an explosion splits them up causing Gabe to have to remove his burning shirt, but he isn't able to get away before the wormhole opens sending all three to the multiverse authority in Alpha. The MVA supervisor is fooled by Yulaw into taking Gabe to the electric looking chair. They're just about to send him to the Hades universe when Evan regains his senses and notices the imprint from Gabe's wedding band. The two are swapped over and Yulaw's teleported to the Stygian penal colony in his most painful teardown yet. The MVA prepare to send Gabe back to his own universe where he will be put in prison for the atrocities Yulaw committed, but Gabe doesn't care as he has nothing left to live for anyway and this was always going to be his final destination. Recalling Gabe's story of how he first met his wife, Evan takes over operation of the machine and redirects his wormhole to a universe set in the past. Gabe begins to relive the greatest day of his life, when he took an injured dog into a veterinarian clinic and met the love of his life TK, and with all other Jet Li's dead he can just slide right in. Meanwhile Yulaw wakes in Hades pen surrounded by dozens of the deliverance type. He declares that he's nobody's biatch and that he will still be the one, then proceeds to kick the crap out of an entire army of charging prisoners atop a pyramid like he's a predator slaughtering aliens. And the movie ends. Nobody's bitch! You are mine. So you made it. I appreciate your time. 
I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks.